was something. And look, I have a chat. Holy fug. Wait a minute. What's Alfie's going to say about... Oh my god, Alfie's. She had to watch us kill Undyne. Yep, she was watching. She was watching. She watched us kill Undyne. I wonder what the fuck she's going to say to us now. Wait, the lights aren't off. Are we going to fight Alfie's? Wait, is Alfie's going to fight us? I hope, I hope Alfie's kills us. Honestly. Wait. I hope Alfie's fights us. There's any new dialogue? It's me, Ch Oh. It's me, Chara. Or Kara, as I like to call it. I've been saying Chara the whole time because I, I know, like, you guys prefer Chara, but I prefer to call her Kara, so... It's me, Kara. Metaton. Excuse me? Meta- Are we gonna fight Metaton right now? Oh, there you are. You ugly little creature. You've made quite a name of yourself. For yourself. Such infamy. So- Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm in such infamy, darling. I'm impressed. Oh, oh yes. If you're looking for Alfie's, she's not here. Wait, where is she? It, no, I'm. Don't tell me. Don't tell me in the chat right now. But if we fight Alfie's, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna be super happy. But I'll cry at the same time because I fucking love Alfie's. Like I relate to her a lot. But but Metaton, oh my god, I love Metaton. While you were busy doing your. Um, thing. She was running out the. <gasps> she was running. She was running around evacuating people to safety. Good on you, Alfie's. Now they're in a place you'll never get to them. Deciding not to fight. You Wait, what? Oh, she. Oh, she. Oh, so we're not gonna fight her then. I assume, or not right now, at least. My my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? Clearly, she. Don't you even touch me? No, but he's invincible though. You can't touch him. Oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Oh, whoa. Well, T-O-O-B-A-D. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Actually, it's dust, so you would, there wouldn't be any corpses. Cause... Toodles! Lily, stop crying. Lily's just crying. I'm a fuck a robot. KDP, no, don't fuck Metaton. So we're not fighting Metaton. We're not fighting Alfie's. Still, Metaton's just... Oh my god, he's just like Gerson. He doesn't give a fuck either. Wardrobe? KDP's wardrobe? Oh my god, wardrobe's in... Oh my god, wardrobe is in Undertale. Wait, there's, there's no music at all. There's no music, there's no, like, game show, there's really... This, this really does a good job of feeling empty. Like, there's nothing to this game. Or not this game, but this mode. Oh, first fight. Anyway, Vulcan strolls in. I'm sorry, I don't remember he Vulcan, so... Did you hear that? Did you hear that fucking- This is why I'm not doing face cam. This is why I'm not doing face cam for genocide. No, Sunderplane! Sunderplane just wanted a senpai. Sunderplane, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I, I never got to- <laughs> What the fuck was that?! <laughs> what the fuck was that?! It suddenly fucking exploded! Why the fuck is Sunder plane exploding?! <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck was that? I've never killed Sunderplane in any run before, so that was fucking new! Why the fuck did Sunderplane explode? Oh my god, it's hard- <laughs> I'm glad Toby Fox put that in at least. At least there's something to laugh at in Genocide. I am Char- No, how could you not laugh at that? <laughs> He's just fucking- BOOM! <laughs> It's just funny because she just boomed. Boom! Oh my god! Boom! Boom! <laughs> so, 
I 9-11- No, you can't- You 9-11 her, you can't say that. You can't- Actually, no, fuck, you can say whatever the hell you want, but- No, I didn't- BUM! And honestly, the sense fight is making me so nervous, like, I'm actually getting anxiety from thinking about fighting sans it's, it's gonna be so difficult like undying the undying took me like two hours sans is like sans will be a stream on his own that'll take me like five hour talks yeah sans or smash please or frisk so it's like yeah sans or frisk will be fine please sakura if you're watching my stream which yeah, you clearly are, obviously, but yeah, put Sans in Smash because I say so, you know, just a random person. Stop. Don't make that noise. Bigger than Sand, probably. Sand. Sorry. Erector, welcome to the I just called you Erector. I, I didn't, I honestly didn't mean to say that. Birthwater? Oh my god, an Iggly buff. I'm gonna kill it. Luna, I'm gonna kill you. If you kill the Iggly buff, I'm gonna kill you. I kill the Iggly... Looney? Oh, would you look at that? It's Luna! Guys, look at that! It's Luna! Hello! Tanuki Luna for free! And now I'm fucking married! <laughs> I am so sorry. No, I'm not! You killed an Iggly buff! No, nope, you're dead. No, I'm not a monster, it's just... How are you gonna call me a monster when Luna's the one? Luna caused this. She killed an Iggly buff. So I have to avenge the Iggly buff. And, uh, now... <clears throat> Great. Now it feels empty again. But I guess it's punishment. <clears throat> oh no, not these two. You're here. So that means Undyne, she's... Like... Undyne, we'll avenge you! This is an actual fight then. They're never gonna... The big gay will never happen. Now I feel... Now I feel extra bad. The, the big gay will never happen. The guards, I'm gonna have to fight the guards. The big gay! The guys, the big gay! Wait, the... That's, it's not a fight. It's not a fight. Okay, never mind. Now they're never gonna find out that they... That they like each other. That's... I'm sorry, guys. Sandy, no! Oh, the cooking show... Metaton's cooking show. The vegan cake. No, vegan. I don't think we can... Wait, I don't think we can fight so sorry unless we, we have to go all the way around. You are Chara? I'm not Chara. They really took out the fun and everything in Genocide. Like, I literally can't do anything. So I have to go to the third floor then. Yeah, I can't fight so sorry. I thought I'd be able to, but I can't. Don't worry, guys. I can't fight him now, but I guarantee- I I'm promising you this. He will be an under guy. I will put him in under guy. So, so sorry can't be fought now, unfortunately. But I will put him in under guy. So if you want to see him there, he'll be there. Getting off to Muffet. I'm not KDP. KDP likes Muffet, not me. That's not a thing. Yes, it is. You like Muffet. Muffet's supposed to be here. No, wait. The, the, the Gaster follower guy is supposed to be here, too. Oh, my gosh. She's still here. Dude, that's not, that's not human. I heard they hate spiders. I heard that they like the... Or they hate every... Wait. I heard that they hate everybody. This is new dialogue. That wasn't in the original thing. I heard that they have some awful taste. What a shame, a human comes through and they they aren't even fit to be eaten. Muffet doesn't even want to eat us, although rotten ingredients can always be discarded. It me, Bath Baron. Wait, you're Muffet? Wait, Tim is Muffet? Muffet traps you. Trap? How does that feel? We got trapped by Muffet. How does it feel? <laughs> Especially, never mind. Of course, of course it, of course it wasn't insta kill. What's it gonna say? Oh no! No, no! Don't do this! No, don't do this, little spot. Oh my god!
This is why I'm not doing face cam. Are Caddy and Braddy still there? I hope not. But like, nobody came and stuff. At least there's some humor in this, at least, at least there's something. Why are you still here? Why is this person still here? Why do I always get the freaks? Are you gonna order or what? Evacuation? You're yanking my chain, little weirdo! So what if everyone else left work? So what if no one's buying anything? Par for the course, little weirdo! Par for the course! This song is more creepy than chill in my opinion. I mean, I can, I can see why you think it's chill, but it's kind of creepy to me since I'm the one experiencing this alone. Huh? Everyone else is dead? Does that mean I don't have to work today? That it were true, little weirdo. That it were true. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Sorry, little weirdo. Threats don't work on me. I can't go to hell. I'm on a vacation days. He's literally insane. Hello again. You know what? If I can't get so sorry, the least I could do is find the one secret like that relates to him. I can do this at least. Okay. Learning how to draw? Come to the Learning how to draw? Come to the art lessons on the second floor. Located in a similar place. So sorry. The least I could do is this. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Determination. Oh, okay. So I can just go right in then, right? I'm good. I don't have to go back for anything. Please don't be an insta-kill. <laughs> Honestly. Yep. Here he is. Metaton. My, my. So you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh, he's just like Undone. I have a feeling. I have a good feeling about this. Also a bad one. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Metaton, come on. Ah ha ha ha. Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. Wait, but don't touch that dial. There's something... There's something you haven't... What? Uh, something you haven't accounted for. Haven't... What? Oh, it, it's his... Yeah, it's, it's true form. As any true fan would know... Fam. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a robot... As a human enter... Oh, eradication robot. Yeah. It was only after becoming a star that I was given more... Ooh. A photogenic body. Yeah. However... Those original functions may have never fully been removed. Oh shit, it's a battle, that's right! Okay. He's gonna kill us, guys. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true form. And he moved. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! Oh shit, Metaton! Holy shit! Metaton Neo blocks the way! Holy shit, look at this! Metaton is gonna eat fucking Mega Man! Yo, oh, let's go, Metaton! <sighs> All of that. I was ready to have another Undying the Undying fight. I was ready to sit here for no, for the, the that the music too. Toby, so that means Toby Fox wrote. He did. A, he he remixed Undying the Undying's fight, designed a new Metaton, all this dialogue, for an insta kill. He lasted longer than Sunderplane. Ugh. I guess you don't want to join my fan club. This is not a. This is not epic. Yeah, that... Are you kidding me? That's it. Oh, wait a minute, guys. We're- wait, we're already here? This is happening way sooner than I thought it would. Oh, fuck. We're gonna fight Sans this stream. We're gonna attempt to fight Sans this stream, then. No, what the fuck? Asgore! Hold on! Don't we have to fight Asgore? Don't spoil anything in chat, but, like, don't we have to fight Asgore? Because remember, Alfie's called Asgore t and told him to- uh, uh, Absorb the human souls. Are we gonna fight Asgore after Sans? Are we not done? I should have bought more items. Asgore is after Sans? Holy shit, there's more to this game after Sans. 
Nothing useful. Wait, we're gonna- hold on! Hold on, I just realized, Chara's back in her original home now. I just re- Chara's back in her home, we have to- Oh, fuck. It's a great reading share. No, I- I have to- I- I have to keep on looking around first. Yeah, there's four chair. This is Chara's home. There's four chairs here. That was Chara's seat. Is she gonna- wait, is she gonna say anything about this? What the f- Flowey. Howdy, Chara. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Oh god, I'm... At least I have a teammate with this now. It's a trash can, it's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I'm so sorry, Asgore. He misses Toriel. Stovetop. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. I've read this already. Oh, that's- yeah, th that's Chara talking. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. No chocolate. No chocolate. Wait! Chocolate. No, there's something imp there's something important- it, it's highlighted in red. The, so, there's something important about chocolate. Why does Chara like chocolate? I remember, there's something else about Undertale and chocolate. That's important. Why does Chara... Why does she want chocolate? There's something important about that. Charge No, but I remember, there was something else in Undertale mentioning... No, it was Deltarune! No, it was Deltarune! Hold on, guys! Remember that one thing? Sans said that Toriel went to his shop to buy chocolate kisses for Chris? And then it turned out that Chris was Chara? What is... Is Deltarune a prequel? No, is... No, it can't be, though. So... Oh, no, hold on. So is Deltarune... I don't know what's referencing what, then. I don't know. So it's referencing- Oh, so that was a reference to this, then. That's- Holy shit. That's why Chara likes chocolate so much. Okay, I'm- I'm sorry, I'm- Uh, whatever. That's- it's cool, but I gotta keep going. I remember when I first woke up in the garden here- Or, in, here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or legs. My entire body turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Someone help me! I called out. But nobody came. Thanks, Flowey. Nothing useful. Seems like gardening tools. I'm, I'm, I'm checking everything. There's bound to be some more dialogue. Golden Flower. There's bound to be more dialogue somewhere in the rooms. I'm checking everywhere. It's a golden flower, it's a golden flower. A knife inside the bo- You're carrying too much. There's a knife in the box. Okay, guys. I have to get- I- I- I have to use the thing, don't I? Wait a minute! This is Chara's side and- and that's- That was Asriel's side, wasn't it? Cause there's toys over here. My drawing. That- this is Chara's bed. My bed. Holy shit, the- we're in Chara's room, in Asriel's room. My drawing, my bed, the knife, his bed, our clothes. It's a real knife. Oh my god, it's an actual knife. Real knife, a we weapon attack 99. Here we are. Chara's been waiting for this. Oh my god. She's been waiting for this. Use. About time. She's been fucking waiting for this. There's a heart-shaped locket in the bo- Guys? Guys? Holy shit. Guys. Is this- Is this the same? Is this the same- Is it the same thing? Is it the same thing? Is this the same locket? 
I'm putting the locket on. I just realized how fucked up this locket is. You know what's inside? Now that I finally have, like... Now that I finally know the full context... Guys, you know what's inside this locket? Best friends forever, it says. Now that I know the full context, that is so fucked up. This locket has so much more meaning now, holy sh- I'm putting this on. That's literally the same locket. Locket, armor defense- okay. You can feel it beating. Well, I don't feel mine beating, but... Holy shit. Right where it belongs. Yeah. We're still not done checking everything. Room under renovations. Eventually, the king found me crying in a garden. I explained what had happened to him. What happened to him? Oh, what happened to him? And then he held me, Chara, or Kara. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, "There, there. Everything's gonna be all right." He was so emotional. But, for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Oh no. Oh, Og no. Oh no is right. Number one nose nuzzle champ since 98. Still has that sweater. I know what that's referencing. Nothing useful. I unlock the cha- I un- oh my god. Yeah, she's- she's taking full control now. Frisk is gone. Frisk is gone! The date I came here. This is actually insane. Soon I realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had just disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me, and I, went, I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, Kara. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> I'm learning so much, oh my god. I realize those two are useless. Just lock it off, because I'm afraid I'm going to break it, because I'm getting way too excited now, and, uh... I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. Wait a moment. This is really sad though, yeah. I kinda, I kinda feel bad for Flowey, like even in this state. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Kara, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from all of the existence. And you know what? I succeeded. Excuse me? But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside of me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Because he had determination. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point... I could let this world continue on without me. But as, as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Kara? I was amazed too. Just like what we can do. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As time repeated, the people proved themselves predictable. What did this uh, person say if I gave them this? What would they say? 
if I said this to them? This is interesting. Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. This is really deep. It, it all started because I was curious. Curious? What would happen if I killed them? That's why he became a psychopath, isn't he? I don't like this, I told myself. But I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse! Oh shit, he's calling me out, isn't he? I think he's calling me out. You of all people, how... Oh, yeah, he's calling me out. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act like this. At least we're better than those sickos who stand around and watch it all hap- At least we're better than those sickos who just- who's- Oh my god, he's calling you guys out too! Who's that stand around and watch it happen. He's calling out you guys as well. Those pathetic people- Those pathetic people that want to see it but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching- <gasps> I bet someone like that is watching right now, aren't they? He's talking about- he's literally talking about you! That makes you know better than me! You guys are calling me Chara? You guys are calling me Chara? If I'm Chara, then so are you, because he's calling all of you out. Nowadays, even that's growing tiring. You understand, Kara. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book, I've burnt every book. I've won every game and I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone, I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Kara. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you and then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Kara, your determination, somehow it's even greater than mine. Um, I have a bad feeling about this, actually. I just have one question for you, Kara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left, and decided to give you a proper, a, a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Wait. So that grave that said our character's name in pacifist and neutral, that was empty. That wasn't for Frisk, that was... For... That was Chara's grave? Is that what's being said right now? Because I thought that was for Frisk, like... Asgore... Was preparing to kill Frisk. And already had a grave ready for him. Was that Chara's soul? I mean, her, her grave? It doesn't matter now. I'm... I'm so tired of this, Chara. I'll call her Chara now. I'm tired of all... I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Chara, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's see what humanity's really like. Despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Flowey, oh no. Name the fallen human. Oh shit, you were naming Chara? I mean, I knew you were naming Chara, but I didn't- When he said name the fallen human, he didn't mean like, fallen like he fell down the hole. Fallen as if- as in, the one that died, yeah. Chara was the, the human that he- she- Holy shit, you were naming Chara, not Frisk. You were naming- Oh my god. Then... That's really fucking cool. Not really cool, but like, that's interesting. Then, well... I had... been entertaining a, a few ways to use that power. 
But seeing you here changed my mind. Shara, I think if you're around, just living in the surface doesn't seem so bad. Flowey doesn't want to kill the humans anymore. He just wants to live in the sur- Something's- We don't need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Chara. I know he'll do it for you. Something... That's new to me. I'm- That's new to me as well. So it's explaining everything. Why am I telling you all this? Chara, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. I feel like something's- I feel like something's gonna happen. Best friends forever. That's what it says inside the locket. That's holy shit. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other- wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... so that's why... Yeah, that's- I- I was... I was kind of worried about something- like, I was worried something like this would happen. Flowey's starting to realize. Ho even Flowey's scared now! Ha! Ha! What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Shara. No hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? B back off! Oh shit, Shara's gonna- I've changed, my, I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You, you should go back, Chara. This place is fine the way it is. Uh, s stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Holy shit, Chara. Flowey's actually scared of us now. We're already here. Yet yeah, here he is. Here he is. Hey, uh, you've been busy, huh? So, I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everyone can be a good person if they just try? <laughs> All right. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you are really not gonna like what happens next. Oh shit. KDP. KDP is here. KDP time. Oh shit. Bad time. And Chara took another step. Well, sorry old lady. This is why I never make promises. He's talking- oh, that's- yeah, Torio. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you... ...should be burning in hell. Holy shit, I- I- I fucking knew that was gonna happen and I still took all that damage. You feel like you're gonna have a bad time. Here we are, guys. I wanna check him. Sans, attack one, defense one. The easiest enemy can only deal one damage. But you don't have invincibility frames, and he knows how to dodge. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's... yeah. I'm not... You feel sins crawling down your back? That expression looks like the expression of someone who's died twice in a row. Oh my god, Spicer, say you look really unsatisfied. Alright. How, how about we make it a third? 